The following episode of Johnny Scuff the Movie Buff has been brought to you by... Getting old really fast video game console flavor! That was good. And paid for in part by viewers like you. You're welcome. What's up, cats? Johnny Scuff here letting you know what's new with cinema. Movies coming out this weekend include John Carter, A Thousand Words, and Silent House, A Thousand Words. So basically, it's about this guy who usually says whatever he has to to get what he wants. And now somehow he made this deal with this new business partner. It's all in this magical tree. Magically grows up in his yard, and every time he says a word, a leaf falls off the tree. So then, of course, the theory is, after a thousand words, he's gonna die. It seems like it has a pretty decent plot, but frankly, I'm a little on the ball about seeing this one, and I'll tell you why. Well, for one thing, I'm all for seeing it because it has Eddie Murphy in it. I'm a pretty big fan of any of his past movies. On the other hand, I'm a little skeptical because of the font that they choose to use in the poster. I know this is a little a little thing to fuss over, but I mean really, just think about it. Usually when a movie poster has big, bold red letters, it turns out to be a rather cliche, not, not so great movie. Think about Disaster Movie, the Big Mama's House movies. A big movie! So if you take a look at the font of a thousand words, it's in big, bold green letters. I see what you did there, movie producers. Ray PG-13. John Carter. Alright, so this is a movie that takes place on an alien planet, and there's this human there named John Carter. And he helps the aliens fight in a war that they're having, which I really don't understand. I mean, why is he indebted to these aliens? Maybe that's because he's a slave, jerk! Oh, oh, that would make sense. So anyway, it's an action movie. I'm not totally keen on seeing it. However, I probably will see it only because it has this awesome creature right here. Just that first battle scene is so epic already. Just the way that it storms in. It's all like... I like to call this creature a gorilla bear hippo because it's half gorilla, half bear, and half hippo. That's probably the only reason I'll see this movie. Wait, PG-13. Alright, so if you missed the theaters last week, and here's a movie to consider. Active Valor. It honestly wasn't that bad. I mean, certainly you're gonna hear from a lot of people that the acting wasn't that great. But I mean, come on, they're real Navy soldiers. Give them a little credit. Show them a little respect. And the action definitely did make up for it. There was just lots of intense sequences. It really pulled you in from the beginning. And it had some pretty interesting shots, too. Like, you would even switch to first-person mode from time to time. Like this. first person shooters out there. It was a pretty different experience to actually see it on the big screen. I would definitely recommend this movie. I would give this movie eight Mucinex pills out of two broken down and taped together textbooks. And that's about it for now, Kyle. So thanks for tuning in. I'll see you next week. And enjoy the show!